everyone for today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to crochet this quick and easy to crochet wrap this wrap is made of three panels of the same pattern and each panel measures about 15 inches in width and 25 inches in length and I'm going to show you the whole assembly and everything as part of this tutorial so let's get started for the materials I use three skeins of simply soft yarn in sage color I also use size H 5mm crochet hook, scissors, blunt needle, markers, and tape measure. Let's start with a knot and chain 57. So this is now 57 chains. Row 1, single crochet in 2nd chain from hook, so 1, 2, single crochet here, then chain 5, skip 4 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, and single crochet in the next stitch, and repeat, chain 5, skip 4 stitches, 1, 2, 3, 4, single crochet in the next stitch again repeat chain five skip four stitches and single crochet in the next so repeat this pattern across i'll be cutting off the video and i'll be back towards the end of the row so i'm here now towards the end of the row i'm just gonna do the last repeat so chain five And to end the row, just single crochet on the last stitch right here. So this is how to end row 1, and this is what row 1 looks like. Row 2, chain 3, two, three. turn, 2 double crochets in the first stitch right here. So 1, 2 double crochets. Single crochet in the chain 5 space right here. This is the chain 5 space, single crochet. Then on the next stitch, which is the single crochet, this one, two double crochets, chain 1, then two double crochets in the same stitch. Chain 1, another two double crochets in the same stitch, which is the shell. So repeat, single crochet in the chain 5 space here. Then shell in the next stitch right here on the single crochet. So shell, two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets in the same stitch. So we just did a shell. So this is what it looks like. Then one more time, repeat the pattern, single crochet in the chain five space. Then shell in the next stitch or in the single crochet here. So shell, two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets in the same space. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just continue, going to continue with the pattern. So single crochet in the chain five space shell in the next stitch right here so two double crochets chain one two double crochets in the same stitch then single crochet again on the chain five space then to end this row on the last stitch here right here three double crochets so one on this on the last stitch, two and three, three double crochets on the last stitch to end the row. So this is what row two looks like. Row three, chain one, turn, single crochet in the first stitch right here, then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the next chain, sing, chain, chain one space. So one, two, three, four, five. Chain one, two, three, four, five. Chain two, three, four, five. Chain three, four, five. Chain 
So the chain one space is here, single crochet in this stitch. Then repeat, chain five again. Then single crochet in the next chain one space right here. One more time, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And single crochet in the chain one space. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. So I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just going to continue with the pattern. So chain five again. Single crochet in the next chain one space right here. Chain five. Now to end the row, just single crochet on top of the turning chain right here. So this is how to end row three and this is what row three looks like. So from here, repeat rows two and three until P's measures about 25 inches or your desired measurement. So I'm going to continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back to show you the next step. So this is now what my piece looks like after 25 inches of in length of my piece right here. And uh, these measures in width about 15 inches also. So make another two of this panel, make it, making it uh, a total of three panels. So these are now my three panels for my piece and I'm laying it right side facing up. So I'm just going to show you a close-up of the design. So here is the close-up. This is the right side of the piece. So with the right side facing up, fold the first panel to the middle like this. So there, the right sides are facing each other. So from top, measure about 5 inches and put a marker like this. And then move your measuring tape starting from the marker. So right here, starting from the marker, measure about 8 inches again and put another marker on the 8 inches right here. So this will be our armhole. So from here to the marker, we're going to attach it. And from here all the way down, we're going to attach it to leaving a hole for the armhole. So I'm going to attach now. This is the armhole. So first, I'm going to attach this side. So I'm just going to use whip stitch. So with the yarn threaded onto the blunt needle. So this is the 5 inches. So I'm just going to align them together like this. So this is like six, 6 in the bottom too, so that they're aligned. And then starting here, I'm just going to do a whip stitch to attach them together like this. So whip stitch like this. Just a simple stitch. So continue this whip stitch all the way to the top right here. And then do the same thing from this marker all the way down here to attach them together. So this is now what the piece looks like, the top and the bottom attached, leaving the armhole right here. And then do the same step for the other panel like here. So fold it this way, measure about so like this, measure about from top, measure about 5 inches, put a marker. And then move your tape measure from the starting from the marker and measure about another 8 inches and put a marker again and then attach the same step as the other side. So this is now what the piece looks like. So just weave the tails and let's try it out. <laughs> 